Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Command video. So I've got a friend who does really good SACD copies and they are exactly the same as the originals and he's done me stacks of them in the past. Now I've only I've only got one player that plays these. For some reason um, my SACD player won't play them too old and um nor my pioneer um dvd player that's uh that is fairly old now as well that dates back to 2006 so the only player i've got that plays them is this this is a relatively cheap sony Blu-ray player that I purchased in around 2011 I think and it was used in the living room my kids used to use it to play DVDs although there's not many DVDs that get played now everything's streamed through the internet so I started thinking about it and I'm thinking I'll do a job on this again and um, I'll only use it for playing the copies that he does me and I mean these copies are really good sound quality and um, so let's take a look at the inside of this so I've already started taking it apart here's the main board there and this is the board for the display at the front and obviously this is the drive now, I'm not going to touch any of this this board here it's got a load of surface mount capacitors on there again I mean I could do it but I probably ain't so what I'm going to turn my attention to which I've had really good results with is the power supply here now, if you can see here, I'd already done something to it in the past. I'd shortened the lead and put one of these on there, an IEC inlet plug. But I still had this wire, the original wire, connected. So what I plan to do is to remove this totally and then connect a nice bit of uh, decent wire from there. And then here we have another Furatech inlet plug now when i ran the audio business i used to sell these for a tech plugs uh inlet iec plugs and i've still got several of them knocking about so this will be fitted into the back there and then we can upgrade the power cord and then we've got several capacitors here and the big one there which I've already added to the basket at Hi-Fi Collective is uh, 130 microfarad by 400 volts and then we've got three capacitors here at 47 microfarad by 35 volts and then we've got one at 50 volts by 40 uh, by 56 microfarad and then that big one there, the bigger brown one there, is a thousand microfarad by 35 volts. So I'm going to change all those. I'm going to upgrade the wire and connect it. So at the moment, this is soldered on the underneath, obviously. And what I'll do is I'll desolder this actual plug here and then run a proper piece of wire connected directly to the circuit board and then straight into our um, IEC plug and then I'll just earth this on the earth onto the casing of the um, of the player there on the side somewhere where I'll connect it to one of these one of these screws down the bottom there and uh, it will, should give a nice um, sonic improvement to this player. 
I mean, these CDs, the, these SACDs he copies me, still sound good on this player, but what is my channel about? It's about tweaking. And um, that's what I'm going to do. So that's another project. I shall get these, um, all these capacitors ordered today and wait for them to turn up. And uh, it should be another way of improving a cheap player. And also, I can use it as the Blu-ray player as well, because I have lots of concerts on Blu-ray, which I don't really use anymore, because I was using a, um, a PlayStation 3 in here at one time, which is old. It's upstairs somewhere now. I think it was playing up, so I stopped using it. To watch some of the concerts on but if i can do an upgrade to the power supply on here and give it a sonic improvement um that's what i'll do and also i've got another another thing to do i'm going to make a silent base for the underneath of it and it's going to be permanently fixed to the underneath so um i mean i messed about with this years ago and there's still some blobs of stuff where i put different feet on the underneath of it but I'm going to make a full silent base that fits over here and it's going to be glued to it and um, that's going to help the sound improvement of this player as well. So these are some of the um, copies he does for me which are really good. They've done me these quite a while ago, and I haven't listened to them yet, totally. Uh, well, I listened to them on the um, on the PS3, which I used to connect to the DAC with an optical cable. Endless. He's got shed, shed loads more of these for me as well, he said. Rumours, Fleetwood Mac. So, another project coming up in the next week or so. And um, an update on the COS ESP9s. They're coming along really well, so uh, I'll be uploading a video on that very soon. Stay tuned. So uh, thanks for watching another Tweak of Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.